Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to pour and finish some colored sand finish steps. We're gonna be explaining the entire process step by step. Please stay tuned until the end. If you want to learn how to set forms and pour all kinds of concrete work with the proper finishing techniques, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Here we have 14 steps that we already set the forms. We also have this little walkway that's about three foot by 13 feet and we're gonna be pouring all of these steps today. We're actually gonna be pouring a couple set of steps. I wasn't able to record the whole thing, but I will be able to record this one here. So we had to use a line pump because it was pretty difficult access. So this really helps us out so that way we can get the pour done in a lot more efficient manner. So once we start pouring, we immediately start floating and just fixing the concrete, cleaning everything up like you see right there. They're scraping the float, the hand float um, along the form boards and just removing any of the excess concrete. And they're working from the top down. So this is already kind of at the halfway point and they're just doing this to the entire area until they get all the way to the bottom. So the first thing you want to do after you pour, like this is how it looks when you first pour, you want to fill everything in, make sure it's nice and, and compacted in there, the concrete. And you want to clean up all of the surrounding area as far as the forms and just everything so it's nice and clean. And then once you have everything like really close and, and leveled, it doesn't need to be perfect because later uh, we're going to come in right after this and we're going to go ahead and start working each step a little bit more detailed. So if it's a little low or whatever, I mean, we can always fill it in at that time. But right here, we just want to get it as close as we can. This is the results after we gave it the first pass. Like I said, after we cleaned everything, you see all the forms and all that stuff. So, and then right here we have this little walkway. Right here we are using a, a little three foot wide street board that we made. So this concrete, it's, it has a color which is called Kailua. Kailua, it's a Davis color, number 677. It, it looks kind of like a brownish, reddish brownish color. Um, it's really nice, you know, came out really good. So. Then after you have everything like, you know, cleaned up and stuff, you want to remove, like in this case, we set up these, these little stakes or form boards. So we are going to remove that. And then here at the bottom of the walkway, we're just starting to float and trowel the surface. The entire concrete, it's going to be sand finish, even this little walkway. So we are just getting the edging done and, uh, removing those stakes there from the steps. So we're gonna clean this up as much as we can. And then we just start working each, we're gonna work each concrete step to make sure it's nice and level. It, they each have a little bit of a slope. So we, what, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the edger. Like you see right there, we're gonna run the edger on the, on the very face of each of the steps. So that way we can get a nice clean edge. And you'll wanna do this before we remove the form board because if you remove the form board and you don't do that, then it's it's gonna be really hard to get a, get a nice straight clean edge. So you always wanna make sure that you run the edger like you see right here on all of the three sides of each step. Meanwhile, the forms are still in place. And then after we work the concrete, then we're, you know, we're gonna remove each one of the form boards. So 
this is one of the areas uh, we have a couple guys one guy's working at the top and then we have this other guy right here working around the middle so he's going to start removing that form board and it's pretty simple it was just screwed on 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 either end and we just unscrew that and then just easily pop out the board and right here we have our our hand float we're just like i said right there you know he's getting some of that little excess concrete filling in those low spots and he's basically just gliding his float from one side to the other he's also getting that angle right there that that edge of the step and so he base he's using two tools to float it the hand float and also he has a magnesium float so between those two things he's floating it the the first pass around getting the edges done so you'll do those two things kind of at the same time and that will make sure you get the step like nice and clean you know you see right there he just he's gliding his uh float right there on the front and then the top so that gives us a nice floated area that's done you know so that way it can spread out the concrete and have it more even and then he has that little elbow tool that's what they call it you know it's like a little elbow tool that's used for the bottom interior edge of each step so what that does is it kind of presses in that concrete right there compacts it nice and well in that area and it gives you a really nice smooth um, interior edge right there so like you see right there you know once he ran that tool you got a nice beautiful uniform um, you know interior edge and and then from there he's just gonna float it you know um, he has his uh, trowel right there so the trowel also helps him out so once he floats everything once you float it all then at the very end you run your trowel like you see right there and your trowel is gonna give you that nice smooth finish and that's pretty much it you know that's the process right there you just fill in the low spots just run all those tools along all each of the surfaces the edges and everything and then once you trowel it at the end that's pretty much the process of how we finish the steps then at, um, here in a little bit maybe about 30 45 minutes we're gonna apply the retarder liquid on all of the steps so then tomorrow we're gonna come back and pressure wash so we can get the sand finish look so the reason why we're doing all of this work to these steps is we want to get the cream we only want the cream to be on the top because since these are gonna be sand finish when we do the pressure wash you know tomorrow we want to make sure that we get all just the sand to show at the top so that's why we do all this process you know it's pretty straightforward like i said he just runs his hand float then right there he's going to remove the form he hits it with the hammer a little bit to loosen it up then he glides his uh float on on all of the the, the areas and then he you know he got that concrete right there to fill in in that interior corner because when he removes a form board you know sometimes it doesn't get filled in all the way right there so that's why it's always nice to have a little bit of extra concrete so he just spreads it around along that interior edge and then he runs that elbow tool and that fills it all in really nice and and then you get that that really beautiful finish look on there so the goal is to ultimately get a, a finished quality product on all of the surfaces you know the the top of the step the face of the step all the corners on all the sides everything that way you have nice clean edges you have the rounded you know everything will be perfect so it's just you know you take your time you know he has his knee pads right there that gives him plenty of access so he can get wherever he needs and that's the results you see it, it just came out really beautiful here's the upper landing pad right there and then you have the steps going all the way down so we were able to control all of this very well like i said we have two guys one guy working the upper half of the steps and another guy working the lower half of the steps and this way we can get it all done then at the very end you know we spray this liquid this is the retarder liquid number 03 top cast 
we spread a decent amount all over the place and this we just let it set overnight and then we're going to come at come back the following day and the outer perimeter forms we're going to remove those the next day those are going to stay for now and then so we're going to remove those forms and then we're going to pressure wash all of this right here so we can get that really beautiful sand finish in all of the steps so that's pretty much the process step by step on how we finish we detail the steps so that way you can get a good quality workmanship and a, a really nice finished product so right there he's pretty much working on the last step and overall it wasn't bad at all um, this process took you know uh, several hours but at the end we were very happy with the result and um, we hope you like this video please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any future videos we're gonna try to upload you know two to three or, or a few videos every week of different pours that we do May God bless you and we'll see you on the next one.